Hi, welcome to my channel, Hemodialysis Simplified. In this small training session, we will be discussing on various aspects of hemodialysis. In this particular session, we are going to talk about how to assess whether a AV fistula is matured or not. So this presentation is not meant to change your uh, center practice. However, uh, you may check with your own center protocol on uh, before um, you follow uh, these guidelines. But uh, uh, I, I suggest you to uh, check with your uh, concerned people on your center practices. Thank you. Then uh, how do we evaluate a AV fistula before maturation. So there are some rules called rule of six. Uh, does this apply to all cases? Another aspect we are going to discuss, first time AVF cannulation, we need to be needling with caution and uh, post needle removal uh, after care. So this, this have to be kept in mind when we do uh, the first time maturation assessment and needling. So let's see what is the rule of six. So this is just to assess whether uh, appropriate blood flow is through the vessel, whether the vessel diameter is palpable uh, and uh, the length of the vessel available for needling. So these are the uh, idea of uh, having this assessment and uh, there are some guidelines by KD, uh, KDQI rule of six kidney dialysis outcome quality initiative rule of six this is not not a six rule but there are six aspects six six uh, comes into the picture so in this Primarily, we need to wait for six weeks from the date of uh, creation of an AV fistula. Normally, it takes about four to six weeks to develop a vessel. Uh, but again, it depends on the patient, uh, various parameters. So one rule is that six weeks you have to wait before we cannulate. Another one is like uh, this assessment can be done by a Doppler or uh, approximately by an experienced person whether the flow through the AV fistula is more than 600 ml in the vessel before cannulating. Not This is not the blood pump speed we are talking about. We are talking about the blood flow through the vessel should be more than uh, 600 ml per minute. And uh, again, we need to assess the diameter of the blood vessel. It should be more than 6 centimeter, uh, more than 0.6 centimeter. Uh, to be precise and uh, the vessel should be at least within 0 0.6 centimeter below the skin. Again, uh, for the cannulation, we should have a straight segment at least 6 centimeter. So these are the rule of six, not the six rules. So we have to wait for six weeks. Flow through the fistula should be more than 600 mils per minute diameter of the vessel should be more than 0 0.6 centimeter and vessel depth should should not be more than 6, 0 0.6 centimeter and at least we should have a, a cannulation area of 6 centimeter stride for cannulation for ease of cannulation and our recirculation. But if you ask me whether this applies to all AV fistula, it is not because there are certain exemptions if the patient is a little obese and the hand is a little, uh, you know, like a fat, then these rules may not apply. So we have to use your own center protocol or procedure before we do uh, the uh, cannulation procedure. So when uh, we have to keep a couple of things in mind before we do first time AV fistula cannulation. First and foremost, there should be a thorough assessment before cannulation. We have to we have to have a thorough assessment to understand all these rule of six or the vessel size or diameter or depth, all these things. 
and uh, it is recommended only the senior person to cannulate and uh, most importantly we need to explain to the patient what is the objective of cannulation what is the advantage of this compared to the other temporary access all these to be explained in patients own language to make them understand and avoid uh, uh, unwanted apprehension on this needling procedure because uh, compared to the other axis like uh, catheters patient will have a little pain in this during needling so we need to explain to them clearly uh, what is the procedure we are going to do again if you have 18 gauge needle that's the perfect situation we can use for first time 18 gauge needle is the best if not available then we can go with 17 gauge needles it's always recommended to go for wet needling because some center practices dry needling which they may not flush the needle with saline it's always better to flush the needle with saline and attach a syringe with some saline to check the patency of the vessel so always wet needling is preferred and blood pump once you start dialysis not to exceed more than 200 mils ideally it should be about 150 mils uh, in a perfect scenario and uh, we have to explain once the needle is removed we have to explain to the patient uh, how to take care of after removing the plaster and how to take care of the fistula so that you know like um, there won't be much of complications so again as good as needling removal of needle and post needle removal is very very important uh, in longevity of the fistula and when we return the blood back to the patient it's always recommended to go 100 mils per minute not to exceed it because this may might suddenly create some pressure on the vessel and maybe even uh, during termination of dialysis there can be a counter puncture kind of thing and swelling on the site a needle have to be removed in a gentle way without applying extreme pressure on the puncture site because uh, this also will sometime uh, create a little bit extra vacation and patient will get oozing around the puncture site so the best way to do this is uh, when we remove the needle uh, when we remove the needle with a gauze use uh, your middle finger for applying pressure and both index and uh, ring finger can be on the side so that uh, it will not exert too much of pressure on the puncture site and we need to hold the site till it get clotted uh, normally take about five to six minutes to clot unless you are giving excess of heparin and the whole uh, the puncture site till the blood stops apply only adhesive uh, semicircle function not uh, tie around the uh, fistula site or fistula hand which may exert lot of pressure and uh, maybe uh, the fistula can spoil so always after blood stops put a semicircular fashion and never apply tunicate because tunicate itself can create uh, uh, damage to the fistula and subsequently this will initiate uh, a little bit of pseudo aneurysm in the uh, in the long run so we have to make a practice that we we may we wait till the blood stop on the puncture site and apply plaster or or micropore in a semicircle fashion not to tie around and never apply tunicate so this is this can be a very good practice uh, for longevity of fistula and uh, that's all from me thank you very much for your time uh, and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, presentation thank you very much